Adrian there? Speaking, hi. Hi. You know who this is? Uh, Jennifer? No. Hmm. Coco? Hi. How you been? Where are you? Where am I at? Yeah. In Maryland. Wow. I've been waiting to hear from you. Every time I call, when I called there a couple of times before, you were never there. What, you get the answering machine? I don't like leaving messages. Yeah. Hmm. How you been? Pretty good. That's great. Yeah, I did a couple of movies. I heard about them. Who were they for? Which one? Uh, both of them. Or all of them. Okay, um, I did one with Annie, with Annie Sprinkles movie. And, um, I don't know what the name is. I never did find out the name of that movie. Or the name of the producer, huh? Huh? Do you know who the, what the name of the producer was? Yeah, it was, you know, the guy who, um, well, it was Annie Sprinkles' movie, okay? Mm-hmm. It was her movie. She bought, she put the money up for the movie she wanted to be made. Yeah. And then, um, the one who filmed it for her, who she, who she had do it for, was, um, the guy who did Deep Throat. Gerard Damiano. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's good. I know about that. And then, uh, Blue Jeans. Well, I, I haven't met him yet. No, I've, no, Blue Jeans is the other movie. Oh, that's the name of the movie, Blue yeah, Jeans. It's called Blue Jeans. And then I did... Uh, Who was the producer of that? Um, I forgot the guy's name. Um, Ron Sullivan? No? No, I don't think so. Hmm. But they did it in upstate New York. We had to catch a bus in, in upstate. In Nyack? Hmm? In Nyack, New York? Yeah, they make a lot of movies there. And That's because the, the judges um, get payola or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then, um, roommates. You were in that? Hmm? Roommates? Yeah. You were in it? Yeah. Didn't you know that? Oh, you're kidding. No. What part did you have in that? One of the girls. In the room. One of the roommates. I was one of the roommates. No, no, I saw it. It wasn't you. Huh? I saw the movie, part of it. It wasn't you. One of the girls. Friend is the roommate, okay? Oh, a friend of the roommate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. How long was that? That, that was a day's work? Or? I was up there and I got to see the, um, I got to see the, um, what do you call it, screening. Went to the screening. Yeah, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. So what how's life treating you? So uh what happened? Did you stop? Why didn't you stay and do more? I didn't stop. I'm still doing it. I just don't have a place to stay up there, you know? Yeah. I heard that um you didn't make it for Chris Cavino's movie, the last one. I heard I heard that you didn't make it up for one movie. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to get up to that one. Yeah. But um, in February, we're, gonna, we're supposed to be doing, there's going to be a lot more, um, Dick said. Are you still in touch with Dick? Yeah. Dick Great. Changes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <clears throat> right. I, told, I put him in touch with you. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then you did. I miss you. I wondered what happened to you. I mean, you didn't, uh, you just totally disappeared. I got one message on my machine from you a long time ago. Do you know, me and Eleanor got in a fight. That's why I totally disappeared. I see. A while back, me and Eleanor got in a fight. You haven't been in touch with them at all, huh? With Eleanor and them? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to her. She's been nice to me now. Mm -hmm. You know, and everything. And uh, they invited me over for Thanksgiving dinner. I went over to the house for Thanksgiving dinner. Hmm. But, um... She got herself an apartment, and um, they got a jacuzzi in there now. So they really got it. Yeah. In the place where I used to sleep, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I miss you. Did that issue with my interview ever come out? Yeah. I think they didn't send me a copy. <laughs> well, I'll get it for you, and and um, and uh. Send it to you if you want me to. Or I'll bring it up to New York with me next time and I'll give you a uh, notice call and let you know I'm coming up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 
That would be good. They should send me a copy, too. When but, are you going to let me do the thing I want to do? Oh, well, <laughs> when you're here, I guess. Promise? Yeah. Okay. When are you coming up in February? Yeah. Okay. That's what Dick said. They're supposed to have a lot of movies being made <clears throat> there in February. Good. Uh, originally, they were supposed to be January, but I guess they've all been postponed till February. Mm -hmm. So you didn't get to meet Vanessa Del Rio yet, though. <laughs> Who? Vanessa Del Rio. See, I heard about you. I heard you were at one of Mark Stevens' parties. Yeah, I did. And, uh... Well, that's the ticket, the ones you gave me, remember? Yes. Okay. Um... And I heard you had done some movies, but I didn't know which ones. And then I also heard that you didn't make it to the last one, right? Which is bad because I, I think you had a you had a part and you couldn't make it. The only reason I couldn't make it because see I don't know New York too well, okay? <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't gonna go up there by myself. Hmm. And I told Dick, and see they were supposed to let Dick know. Okay, Dick wrote the script. Okay. Yeah. And then um, they were supposed to tell Dick if I was hired or not, because Dick told him he wanted me to be in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay? And they said, if we have a part four, we'll call you. Call Dick. They never called Dick. They called my answering service, left the message on my answering service for me. Okay? I called my answering service, got the message, and thought Dick knew about it, right? Dick went ahead and made plans for him to go out of town mm. on the day of the shooting. That was Tuesday. Yeah. And I never went because he went out of town. I wasn't going to be up there by myself. Right. Yeah. You know, see, my girlfriend just got killed up there. The day I was doing the movie. She got killed? Yeah, man. Um, you know, mean literally? Yeah. She was killed. She went, she was um, walking down the street. She offered me a long time ago. This girl offered me to move in with her, okay? Mm hmm. You mean your, your girlfriend lives in uh, New York or Maryland? No, she lives in Maryland. In Maryland? Yes. Okay, she went up to New York to visit somebody. She was walking down the street or something like that, I've, what I've heard. And the next thing I know, my ex-boss, excuse me, my ex-boss, Elmer, mm -hmm. told me, remember that he said, do you remember that girl that asked you to move in with you a while back? She was just killed in New York. Shit. I said, God damn, you know? I said, here I am doing the film and just down the road from where she got killed. <sighs> yeah, but you have to learn to manage the city yourself because not in anyone else can't uh, hold you by the hand and take you around. That's true. But Dick said he'll always be around when I need him. He you said know? that? Me and Dick are getting along pretty good. <laughs> well, he likes you. <laughs> <clears throat> I miss you. Yeah, I wondered what happened to you. Is that girl yeah. still living with you? Yeah, she's still here. Because um, Dick was trying to find a place for me to stay, you know? Yeah. In New York instead of getting a hotel room. Right. And then I tried to get in touch with you that day. Was that the day you left a message on my machine? Probably. What did hmm. I say? I don't know. Huh? I, I just, I think you just told me you had two parts in the movie and so forth. I had her left. I came down to see you, down D.C. Uh-huh. I came to see you and they told me you were gone. I said, oh. <laughs> yeah, we crossed. Like, I think you came back and I came up, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Wow. Damn. And I had something for you. I was carrying something for you when I came down. And what was that? Something. <laughs> see, if I get to see you, I'll still be able to give it to you. Well, when you get here, it'll be a while before I come down to D.C. again. What happened? I don't understand. Oh, who cares? Yeah, who cares? I couldn't bother with that job anymore, that's all. Um, Are you still doing the movies? Uh, yeah, I did a part in a sequel to Debbie Does Dallas. Really? Yeah. When? Um, in the, uh, late December. It's all right. Um, what does my interview look like? Does it look good? To me, it was good. 
I had somebody read it to me, you know that. Did the pictures look good? <laughs> <laughs> Great. And I still got your pictures, too. <clears throat> good. You show them to everyone? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's You're in, good. My, in the front of my photo album. You know that. You'll have to come over and meet. Did you already meet Mark Stevens? Mark Stevens? Yeah. Yeah, I met him. Oh, he was in. Well, he was in. Uh, was he in one of the movies? No, we went to his apartment. Yeah, oh, you went to his apartment. Yeah. You were there. He, Annie Sprinkles and him are right down the hall from each other. Right. And right. They're to, neighbors. Right. Yeah. We had to go into uh, his apartment and wait until our part came up. Hmm. And then I got some pictures taken with Mark Stevens. I haven't found out when those are going to be out either. <laughs> oh, shit. Who took those pictures? I don't know. When I went to the party, they were taking a whole bunch of your pictures. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you have to get the cards of the uh, oh, I did. photographers and yeah. then call them when you're in New York. We did. My agent got it. He's supposed to find out. When. Well... So this call is going to cost you a fortune, isn't it? No, I'm using my MCR number. Oh, well, it still costs you a lot, but it's a lot cheaper. So you got an MCI number. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's good. Got an answer service, too, in New York. Oh, good. What is it so I can leave a message for you? Okay. The, um, what? <clears throat> service. What company did you use? What, uh... Um, uh... Wait a minute. What company is that? Response. That's good. Okay. Let me find the number. Okay. What's your dial? I was getting ready to give you my MCI number. How about that? No. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm not. Um, my phone book. Phone book. Mm. Okay. The number is area code 212-868-3050. Mm-hmm. You know what my new stage name is? 868-3053. Now, what's your new stage name? Victoria Sands. Victoria Sands. Yeah. Is that different from you told me before? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's good. That's a great name. One of the, uh, one of the uh, producers gave it to me. Great. Fantastic. He said it's better than the other ones. He said doesn't, other names don't go with me. Yeah, the other one, what was it? Uh... Lusty Sanchez. Yeah, this is much better, Victoria Sands. That's and perfect. The, uh, and Dick said, well, I don't like Lusty, so he gave me uh, Dusty, uh, what is it? Dusty uh, <clears throat> um, Angel. And then the, the, he, the guy said, yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't like that name either. He said, what's your real name? He said, I said, Maria Victoria. He said, Victoria, 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 Victoria Sands. <laughs> Great.